You are probably wondering why I am among these fields. Because we are currently in the municipality of Malo Crniće, near the Veliko Selo village, and we are going to visit the Zaova monastery. Malo Crniće is located between Požarevac and Petrovac Samlavi. It's a small municipality with a population of 12,000 people. Halfway between Malo Crniće and Veliko Selo, we are turning up the hill and entering the forest. Soon we came across this sign. On the right side is a lake, and on the left, actually behind me, is the monastery. Let's go to the lake first, and then to the monastery. And here we are, and here is the lake Zaova. Jezera Zaova. Here in the forest, beside the lake, there is also this beautiful place where you can prepare a grill. And down there, on this side, next to the lake, is a small restaurant. After a short rest, I am also visiting the monastery. This is a really beautiful place. The monastery is also surrounded by the forest. There is a beautiful garden, walkway, flowers. However, unfortunately, we won't be able to get inside the monastery and film the frescoes, because it's locked. The monastery is firstly mentioned in 1467, but it is believed to have been built slightly earlier. The frescoes, however, date back to the 19th century. Here beside the monastery on the left side is a little spring, where you can take this little path. And here is the spring. Let's taste it. The water is so cold. Pure spring water. Now let's go to our next destination. We are going to the opposite side of Malo Crniće municipality to visit another monastery. Right now we are passing through the center of Malo Crniće. As you can see, this is a small municipality that is facing some challenges in retaining its population. However, we will now see how things stand with tourism, as this monastery from the 14th century was locked. Maybe we will have more luck with the other one, so you can judge for yourself whether this municipality has a chance to survive. We are passing to the village of Kula and the road is taking us uphill. After 6 kilometers of bad road, we arrived at the Bradarcha Monastery. The monastery was built in the late 14th century, only to be abandoned for over two and a half centuries. It was renovated at the end of the 20th century and the new monastery was built on the foundations of the old one. Locally, we had the opportunity to see the interior, and now we are going some 500 to 1000 meters further to visit the Vranjevac Memorial Complex, which also offers a beautiful view of the surrounding area. We are still climbing. We have already passed 2 kilometers, and yet I still don't see the monument. Finally, we have arrived at Vranjevac. Here it is. 
It's a big monument with a huge cross. The monument itself is dedicated to the fallen fighters from the entire Branicevo district, who died between 1912 and 1918. Interestingly, people made an effort to find the names of all these fighters, which is about 23,500, and they recorded them all in the book that was then sealed in the foundation of this monument. The Battle of Ranjevac itself is not well known among the people because it was part of a much larger battle, the Battle of Morava. Its aim was to enable the rest of the Serbian army to retreat to the south and it was fought against a significantly more powerful enemy. The battle was fought on several locations, but here it was the hardest. The Serbian army was defeated and eventually he had to retreat. Unfortunately, we can't enjoy the view because the vegetation and these small forests surrounding the monument are blocking it. And that's it. We visited these three locations in the municipality of Malo Crniće. I have enjoyed it, especially by the lake. So, if you enjoyed this video, feel free to leave a like and I'll see you in the next one.